In this video, I'm going to show you on how to disassemble your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 3 Sim, etc., etc., and how to clean your um, lens. We are not going to disassemble the whole entire PlayStation 3 to to um to clean it. All you need to do is just have um what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you now. Um, so first, of all you're going to do is first you're going to, first um, I went ahead and do take all these these pieces out. Go ahead, do that now if you have the time. You can also pause the video and do that. Um, first off, you're going to go to the hard drive. Sometimes we'll have a screwdriver here under a uh, like a little cap, like one of these caps, or like it's rubbery, or it's just like this, and it's, and you just uh, pop pop it up, and there's a screw that's holding the hard drive down. But since mine's damaged, I don't really need it. So all you got to do is pull out the hard drive. And I'm so I'm saying is pull out the hard drive because in case you drop the system or something, your hard drive and your personal information isn't damaged. So put that to the side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is gonna gonna take, we're gonna start taking these screws out. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. There is about approximately about six or seven of them. And on the front, there's one right here, there's one right here, and there's one right here, and there's one right here. And these are security bits, so you're going to need a security bit. But fortunately, I don't have a security bit, but what you need is a screwdriver like this one. It can be, you know, switchable. And you need, and you need like, a security bit. But if you don't, use, like, a small, tiny, um, flat head screwdriver like this one. They use it for cell phones and shit like that to pop things open. I use this because it works progressively better. And... I'm gonna skip this video. For, I'm gonna skip part of this video to make it last longer. So, um, since I got the screws out, which I you see right now, I got one of the front screws that has a security bit. Um, be sure when you do take them out, be careful and do them slowly or as as a good speed as you can because you don't want to scratch it inside and you'll be fucked up taking it out the next time. So then, now we're gonna take this out. Remember, slims come from the front first instead of the back. And then you'll see, boom, this, this baby. This baby is what runs everything. So this is the fan. The fan is always on the left side of the system. This is the call. It's called, this was called fan, it's, it's called a, um, the heat sink is under this, where the, the, the airflow goes out to there. And below this fan is the processor. Believe it or not, I have opened this PS3 completely because I replaced the um, thermal paste on this, um, on this, on this PS3 not too long ago like it's still young so that's what and the heat sinks go down here to this heat sink right there and this is ba the baby we need to open so first thing we're gonna do is open this baby now first thing you're gonna do on this part you're gonna have to remove this part and this is very easily go on here and pop upwards just be careful not to pop too fast because then then you'll break, you'll break this this little trim right here and this is what turns off the power to this ship right here okay now you're gonna notice that on each part on each part right here and here and right there are screws right there that's all you need to take out of and I believe there's none in the back so you don't have to worry so all you gotta do is just take this and just gonna screw it be aware that be sure to not screw up when you do not to shake it up too much when you're handling that drive um, if possible, you can as well as clean it within the system without removing it, but you have to be careful with the liquids that you're going to be using. And what things you're going to take out because you don't want the screws screws to fall into the system because then you're going to be like, fucking shaking the whole thing like crazy. So they're like this long into the thing. So now it should easily pop off like that. Be sure before you do do this, you take out your disc, because if you don't take out your disc, you're gonna have to manually try and to take it out or power it on real quick and then take it out. Man, take it out. I've done it before, and trust me, that was a bitch. Okay, now this should easily come off, and you'll see this portion. This is the mechanism that opens and closes your your your, your disc tray. First, you're gonna do is take this off. You can instantly just move this and just pop this off. What this is is a magnetic. is a magnetic. It's like a magnetic strip that that when it goes down, it hooks on onto this little thing because this is magnetic. So that's why. And this is a magnet. So what you're gonna do 
Here's you're going to see how you see under there. If you see quite clearly, it, you can't really see. Uh, trying to get under there. There's two lens. There's two lens, and this is easy to do. And um, yeah, that's basically all you need is Q-tips. And where's the Windex? Oh, there we go. Gotta get it. Okay, and Windex. Sorry, it didn't look like real Windex because we had to put water in it because we we're running out. So be sure you have that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these, you're going to spray it, keep it away from the system because you don't want that shit going onto the system, then do like that, then go on the side and just wipe it like that. And in the system, be sure to go this way, this way direction, and instantly just softly go into that, there you'll see the lens, you'll see the lens, you, trust me, you'll see the lens. And then you'll to go backwards farther. You'll feel it'll go. It's, it's length is like two lens, one big lens, one small lens. You just gotta be careful on how you handle it and how much pressure you tell it. Then take the dry side and rub it again to dry it. And then you do the other side. And then if you need to, if you're if you're curious, you don't you don't want it to be fully fully wet. And you want to make sure, just take another one, another dry one, not water, don't water it, and then there you go. There you go. Now you're done. Now what you have to do is take this piece, place it de face face the big the big round part face down into the tray. Make sure they're aligned. Make sure they're not thing. And don't mess with, don't remove these white parts because I had to have I one that one time I had to remove this part just to get it unstuck from this part and. It can cause really issues, and you're gonna have to fix it. It's not, it's somewhat easy if you have skills of fixing it. So if you don't have skills of fixing it, um, then don't do it. Just take it to a repairman, and there you go, or something like that, or buy a new one. But you have to replace a chip to it, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna skip this one right now, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna and we're gonna continue in a bit. What I'm do is place place back correctly. The metal frame that holds everything in place and be sure on the front here there's like these slots that you have to put the piece in to make sure it's aligned once it's aligned as you see here you basically what you just do is make sure you set these sides are even there you go and basically you put the screws back in basically we'll take this one Put, let's say it right there and then screw these on first make sure you put a firm grip onto the plate so anything inside while you're moving it is in place it doesn't move around make sure you tighten it enough but not too tight so when you need to do it again such as something's wrong with your disc or something um, you can come in and do it again some consoles may vary so um, I'm not saying all this might work in all consoles but if you want to try it I don't, I don't know but it works perfectly fine after I do this and I will show you that my disc works with the Black Ops 2 Call of Duty which I'm going to be using to test the game out and this does fix any issues you're having with discs such that even if we, after, say, you, after you clean them and you know you're having problems this is a good way to do it so yeah okay now on this part basically you got to be careful and place this back like this, snap it in, it's a snappable so you don't have to worry about it. And then boom, you're right there. Now, now as you got that place, be sure to check around the system to be sure if you want if you're if you consider cleaning it. If you are on this panel, this is the power adapter. Be careful with this because under this on this section right here, there are two prongs. Don't be careful when you do take it off because if you snap it, those prongs and they're and they're and they're off the board, then you're fucked. You don't have no power. So just because you have this thing right here and you have this plugged in, that doesn't mean you'll get power because those two prongs are ground. So those are needed required. Now we're gonna do where the hell is? Oh, damn dirty. Now we're gonna do is put it put it back face doing this way and then pop and then I'm gonna skip this one for right now and then we're gonna continue after I screw these in 
duty black ops arm um, disc nice and clean and you see the ps3 working as fine as it should now everything's all um, good and dandy now i put my ps3 back where it was now we're gonna pop the black ops 2 disc into the disc tray boom you should hear a click when the disc goes in and we'll see if the disc works now the disc should pop up easily like that and now then now you should see the disc load boom there you go now let's see the black ops 2 logo right there in the corner because i have multiplayer set as default and that, there you go now you know the disc works and now you know you have a clean disc once you see boots and you see any kind of logo of any game then you know that the, that cleaning process was complete and successful if you liked this video like subscribe and comment what you want to see next on to clean and i will do it see you next time bye